guys, welcome back to my channel and this is day three of my 12 days of Christmas holiday giveaway. Now if you happen to hear snorting, farting, it's my dog Sammy. Sam, up here buddy. Yeah. For some reason, whenever he sees the light go up and he sees the camera out, he feels the need to run into the office and plant himself under my desk. He will refuse to leave. It doesn't matter. I can try to lure him out with treats. I can call him in my best little dog calling voice. So you say, I could say, come here, Sammy. Come here, my baby. And he won't come to me. I mean, he will now because he knows that the door is shut. Hush him. Hush him. Hush my babies. But he knows when I'm trying to get rid of him. Come here, my Sammy. Come here. Come here. Let's do some tricks. Do some tricks. Okay. High five. Oh, good baby. That's a good baby. That's a good baby. Okay. So, for today's video, I'm going to do what's in my gym bag. Can you hear him munching on his snack? Okay. I've seen this video done on YouTube many a time. It's always kind of interesting to see what other people have in their bags, I guess, and what kind of things people take to the gym. Ah, feet are getting hot. Okay, so I just have a basic, this is just a gray backpack. Um, it is by, who is this by? Ogeo? I don't know, I got it online. So. It has um, tons of zippers and pockets on the sides here for like water bottles and, and such, which I really enjoy. I keep this water bottle here with me, not for drinking, but um, I will sometimes go in the sauna after a workout. And I know I'm not supposed to put water on the coals, but I do. I'm that asshole, because I like it hot. So. That's what that's for. And then I keep a little tiny hydro flask. I do keep this little 12 ounce guy in my bag and here's why. I don't know about you, there are some protein powders that are fairly drinkable with just cold water. But now I use plant-based proteins. I've tried a lot of vegan protein powders and honestly I think their drinkability improves if it's mixed with almond milk or cashew milk and I like mine cold. So what I do is I will fill this puppy up, you know, with eight ounces or 10 ounces of cold almond milk or cashew milk. And since this is a dual wall, dual wall insulated, dual wall insulated. Okay, it will keep it cold. So I keep my, um, keep my milk in here, put it in my bag and bring my protein powder with me to the gym so that as soon as I'm done with my workout, I just put my protein powder in here and woo, give it a little shake and I'm good to go. All right, I'm gonna go through my little compartments first. My top, my top compartment here has my headphones. Can't go to the gym without these. Will legit turn the car around and go home to get them if they are forgotten. I guess I should keep a backup pair of like wired headphones in my bag, that would be smart. That way if these aren't charged or I forget them and I'm already at the gym, then I don't have to turn around. And I also have my Polar um, heart rate strap and monitor. The watch, um, I used to wear my Polar watch all the time to the gym. Um, I guess I could take this out or maybe I should put my watch back in here, but since I got my Apple Watch, I use this to track my workouts, which works great. Next pocket here, I have my lock for my locker. And then I have a spare key that I need to take out of here. Okay, that was in this little zipper bag. So now in this bag here, I have, I have some spider chalk liquid chalk. The gym that I work out at um, does not allow chalk to be used. So I use the liquid chalk because it stays on my hands and doesn't transfer anywhere else. So that's how I get around that. And then in this little pocket, 
Ugh. I did not plan the setup of this very well. So in this little pocket here, there's another little, well, here's some membership tags, hair tie. And then in this little baggie here, or zipper pouch here, I have a bunch of little like bands. Anyways, bands there. There is a middle compartment here, just before the main compartment, which has, this is my funk bag. So anytime I have super sweaty clothes or anything like gross towels or whatever, can go in that bag. And now for the main compartment, oh, I got lots of stuff in here. So this, this bag is technically not like a gym bag because it does have a little compartment back here for like a laptop, but I don't know. I like it. It's roomy and it has lots of compartments so that I have a gym towel, slingshot, hip circle. Where's my other one? I have my, I have a knee. What is this? Knee sleeve. I have a knee sleeve in here. I don't know what my other one is. Oh, I do have a backup set of headphones in here. So I have this little, this little arm thing, I guess. I never use it. I don't even know. I don't know. I think I liked it because it was colorful, but I do have a pair of backup headphones in here. I didn't even know. So little wired headphones. I don't even use this. Whatever. I have these little These are arm trimmer wraps. That I don't really use. I guess it, I guess it would be helpful if I wore them like in the in the sauna maybe. That would be good. But I just keep those wrapped up in my bag. And of course, I have my sweet sweat waist trimmer. I don't have the uh, the sweet sweat stick because my daughter jacked that from me and it's in her gym bag. But hey, I have the waist trimmer here. I have an umbrella, you know, in case it rains. I have some gloves here. Oh, been looking for those ones. Okay, so I have these gloves. I haven't really worn, I haven't worn gloves in a while, but some, there's some gym gloves here. And then I do have my, I don't know, these are called Fit For, but I know some people call them like bear claws. They go like this. I used to wear these a lot when I did CrossFit. When I would uh, attempt to do a pull up. <laughs> Still can't do one. And then I have my Demos Fitness ankle straps for when you're doing those kickbacks for those booty gains. These work really good. Last but not least, I have a hat. For when I wanna get in that zone, I don't wanna be bothered, just put my headphones on. I do have this little baggie here with like just miscellaneous stuff. I have like a watch battery, some little replacement earphone pieces, tissue. When I used to do, oh, when I used to do the tanning beds, this is one of those little like wrist, wrist dabbers, wrist dabbers, wrist, what do you call it? A sweat, a wrist sweat, a wrist. There's a name, what is it called? Anyways, wrist dabber, Psh, that's what you do with it. Have this little light. I don't know. I don't know. Just random stuff in there. And I got some chapstick. That's always nice. I usually keep deodorant in here, but I don't don't have any deodorant in here this time. So, anywho, put all my stuff back. That's what's in my gym bag. I know you are super curious as to what I keep in here. Now you can rest easy at night knowing that I have revealed everything that I keep in my gym bag. And 
It doesn't actually, it doesn't even stink. So, okay. So since this is day three of the 12 days of Christmas giveaway, what I will be giving away is a 12 ounce hydro flask so that if you'd like to try my little hack on how to have an ice cold creamy protein shake using your favorite milk, non-dairy milk, nut milk, whatever you'd like, take it to the gym with you, you can try it. So all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment below so that I know how to get a hold of you, and last but not least, make sure that you are following me on Instagram at Melissa Jane Fit. There you go. If you want it, you know what to do. Okay, I will see you tomorrow for day four of my 12 days of Christmas giveaway. Till then, I'll see you tomorrow.